so I got an air gun coming in tonight, but I gotta run to Walmart and buy some more pellets because I only have two tins of pellets maybe. I'm gonna go see what they have. Sometimes. I just realized I left my wallet and I'm already like 15 minutes away from my house. So you'd think I'd be fine because I still have cash. I went there like a month ago to buy a slingshot band. Not even a slingshot, just the rubber band that goes on a slingshot. And this lady looks at me and she's like, do you have ID? You need to be 16. You need to be 16 to buy a slingshot band. Do I not look 16? I genuinely think that if I did not have my ID, she would not have sold me that rubber band. So as long as it's not that lady, I think I'm gonna be okay. All right, so I just got out of Walmart. They literally only had two brands there. The Tried and True Crossman Premier Hollow Points and then some Gamo Rockets. Why the hell does UPS always leave their door open when they drive down dirt roads? Nice, she finally came in. Waiting for this thing to come in really taught me patience. All right, so the other night, it was like three in the morning, I was just going through YouTube videos, and I saw this video about the Benjamin Maximus, and I was kind of surprised at how accurate it was, like at distances and stuff. And I was like, you know what, you guys are really liking the air gun content. So I was like, sure, I'll go buy one. Went online and Benjamin Maximus's and, Benj and the Benjamin Discovery just like, don't exist anymore, I guess. I went on every website. I went on eBay trying to find used ones. Pyramid Air, Air Gun Depot, Midway USA, like any store that you would think would sell them. All of them were out of stock and it would say discontinued under it. So I don't know what that's about. I found one Benjamin Maximus. It didn't come with a pump or a scope or a combo or anything. It was just the gun for $400. So obviously I'm not gonna pay $400 for a $200 air gun. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm not gonna get a Benjamin Maximus. Under that video was a recommended video and it was of the Beeman QB Chief in 22 caliber. I watched the video and the guy was shooting about a quarter size group at 100 yards with this gun. So just out of curiosity, I went on Amazon to see how much it was. It was $180. So Benjamin Maximus runs about $220. So I watched a few more videos on this gun and instantly just went and bought it on Amazon. And obviously it's a PCP, so you need a pump with it. Benjamin Maximus is $200 and the pump that comes with it is another $200. So you're $400 in. So I bought this for $180 and then I bought a $45 hand pump. If you guys want this, gun or that hand pump i'll have them linked in the description below it's an amazon affiliate link so so if you decide you want them and end up getting them i get a kickback from it probably not much but it's something so i got this gun i got it set up so it doesn't come with the scope it just comes with iron sights i took them off because it was in the way when i was trying to mount that scope just put on a nikon pro staff three to nine by 40. i did a little bit of tuning with the trigger because when i got out of the box it was about three pounds so it was pretty light but it was really long and you can actually adjust this trigger to your liking. So I have it at about like a, maybe two pounds, but a really short pull. Still kind of getting used to it. So just to kind of help break it in a little bit, I put about 50 rounds of those Premier hollow points through. Kind of sighted it in at about 25 yards. You know, kind of break it in, let the valves and everything kind of settle in. Then I got the Walmart bag of goodies that we got. So I have some H&M Barracuda Match 21.14 grain. These are heavier pellets. I already had these. Then I got the Premier Crossman hollow point and then the Gamo Rocket says superior accuracy. And honestly, I don't think I have ever actually had Gamma ammo pellet group super well in a gun, but I figured I'd give them a try because that's all they had. I ordered some JSB Diablo 15.8 grain. They're gonna be here tomorrow and every video I've seen, that's what people were using in this gun. All right, so now that I have this thing pretty much set up and a little bit broken in, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up some targets, try out these pellets, see which one it likes the best. And I think I'm just gonna start at 50 yards and just really stretch its legs right off the bat. All right, so we'll do the gamma rockets first. And the target is at 50 yards exactly. Some people in the comments of that rabbit hunting video wanted to know what kind of range finder this was. It's an AOFAR or something like that. It's like a $50, $60 range finder I got on Amazon. So I don't have to worry about breaking or losing my loophole, but I put them side by side and they, they range the exact same. So if you want this, I'll also have it linked in the description below. All right, five shot group at 50 yards. They didn't do as bad as I thought. All right, now we're gonna use the Barracuda Match. I do have a little bit of faith in these. 
normally seem to work pretty well. But I mean, if the Gamma Rockets perform that good at 50 yards, I'm hoping this is going to be a pretty tight group. Hello? Alright, now I lost track of where I was at. Alright, so those grouped almost the same as the Gamma Rockets, surprisingly. So, I don't know if that's bad for the H&N or if that's good for the Gamma Rockets. So, I just shot a group with the Premieres, but I realized that my gauge was almost in the white, which is like 1100 PSI. And the sweet spot for this gun is between 2000 PSI and 1500. So, I'm going to repump it up and then shoot another group with the Premieres. And then, here's a hand pump that I got. You just flip those out. You can fold them up, stick it in a backpack or whatever if you want. But I've seen a side-by-side -side video of this $45 hand pump and the $200 dollar Benjamin one and they pretty much perform the same. All right, so I just ran inside to throw some footage on the computer and I checked my channel. I'm almost at 200 subscribers. I mean, I'm still a long way from the almost 50,000 subscribers I had on my old channel, but at least I know it's not going to take me years to get there again. So I'd say probably within the next hour, I'm probably going to hit past 200 subscribers. So thank you guys. All right, now we're going to do the Crossman premieres this time with the correct PSI and see what kind of group it can hold. Now we're gonna go down there and check out the group. The gamos, there's two in one hole there, one there, one there, one there. Then we have the H&M Barracuda matches. We got one there, one there, one there, one here, here. And then the premieres. So I shot that group when the PSI was super low, so we're not gonna count that. Refilled it and we got three right there, one there, and then a flyer up there, which I think that might have been me pulling it a little bit. Besides that flyer right there, the premieres look like they did the best. The gamo. And the H&M Barracudas, they kind of tied. All right, so all those pellets did pretty well. If you had any of those three and you sighted in at 50 yards, you could easily be getting kill shots on most things you're trying to hunt at 50 yards. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out to 100 yards just out of curiosity. And because the Gamo pellets and the H&Ms pretty much tied, because the 14.5 grain Gamo and the 14.3 grain Crossman Premiers are closer in weight, I'm going to shoot a group at 100 yards, get it kind of sighted in for 100 yards, and then shoot a group with each of those. So I'll shoot a group at 100 and see where we're at. All right, we're going to do the Premier Hollow Point. All right, if this gun can at all even somewhat perform at 100 yards, I'm going to be blown away. I can't 100% tell from here, but that looked really good. All right, now the Gamma Rockets. Sounds like there's some coyotes like 200 yards behind me. Maybe we can do an air rifle coyote hunt. All right, let's go see what we're looking at with the targets. All right, so at 100 yards using the Premier Hollow Points, that is a quarter size group. I pulled that shot right there, so I didn't count it. I'm still getting used to the trigger in this thing. And then that's the Gamos. And then the Gamo pellets, we're kind of all over the place. But that is insane. All right, so at 100 yards, this thing kept a quarter size group with Premier Hollow Points, which is insane because those Premier Hollow Points were $5 for 500. For the first time ever in my life, I've been able to keep a group at 100 yards with an air rifle. I don't even know if I need those JSB Diablos because Premier Hollow Points seem to be what this thing loves. So like I said, I have this gun and the pump linked in the description below if you want to pick one up yourself. So around this time at night, the starlings start coming in here by the hundreds and getting into the grains and stuff. So I think in the next video, we're going to be taking some long shots with this at some pest bird and as some of you may know this was my old channel YouTube deleted it because I was making videos with this stuff so if you made it this far in the video and you want to subscribe I'd really appreciate it